Wondering how to stay connected to your clients and prospects while practicing social distancing? There are a few platforms you may want to consider, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the five main platforms, their advantages and disadvantages, and hopefully help you make a decision on what's best for you. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and click on that bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or to just support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. Even though it's a time for social distancing, you still want to be front of mind and remind people you're in business and keep you top of mind. The five platforms we're going to be discussing are Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts, Facebook, and Marco Polo. First, Zoom. Zoom is a really easy to use platform to have video meetings. With a free account, you can have up to 100 participants for up to 40 minutes. The next level is $14.99 a month where you can talk for 24 continuous hours. The advantages of using Zoom is it's really easy to set up and for people to access. You can share the link and people can click on it from their computer, tablet, or phone. I also like that you can record your Zoom sessions so you can easily share the session with your participants. The disadvantage is that you do only get 40 minutes with the free account, so you may need to make a small investment. Also, you have to make sure you agree to a scheduled time to get connected. Skype is very similar to Zoom in that you can have a video conversation with someone and the advantage is there isn't a time limit. The disadvantage is that the setup time takes a little bit longer since you need to request to connect with someone, then once you're connected, you can easily chat. Also, you need to make sure you have an agreed scheduled time to chat, and sadly, you can't record the sessions within the platform. Google Hangouts is extremely similar too. It's free to use, there are no time restrictions, however, the other person you're connecting with needs to have a Google account. You need to agree to a time to connect, and you can't record the session within the platform. Facebook gives you a few options to stay in front of people. First is Facebook Live. You can broadcast to all your contacts at once. There isn't a time restriction. You get a free boost from Facebook, and once your live is complete, it can stay on your wall for people to look at at another time. You can also take this recording and repurpose it on other platforms. Facebook Live is easy to use, free, and you can connect with people when it's convenient to them through the replay. The disadvantage is you'll need to speak broadly since this video is going out to the masses. Facebook does allow you to do video chats with your contacts through Messenger. It's easy, free, and there are no time restrictions. You'll just need to make sure that the person you're connecting with, you're also friends with on Facebook. Lastly, there's Marco Polo. This is like a video text message. It's free to use, your messages can be as long as you want them to be, and the person can respond back when they have time. The disadvantage is that the other person you want to connect with needs to have the app. Once again though, it's free and it's nice you can stay in front of people and speak uniquely to them without having to have a hard schedule. So which platform are you going to be using or which platforms do you think you'll more likely use? Share in the comments below and we hope this helps you stay engaging.